Memphis Belle, even if you don't know much about B-17s, and it was about the first combat crew to complete 25 missions, which uh, at the time, uh, uh, two out of three airplanes would get shot down on any given mission, so it was no small feat to complete 25 and to get to come home once you completed your 25th mission. So uh, that crew was the first one that was able to come back to the states and to tour around the states and sell war bonds and uh, drum up more support for the war. They did a movie, The Memphis Bell, by Warner Brothers. This is the actual airplane they used. So we call this the movie Memphis Bell. And not to be mistaken with the actual Memphis Bell that is in Wright-Patterson Air Force Base being restored. And it'll be on display here in the next two years uh, as, a, uh, as the actual aircraft. Uh, incredible machine. There's only a dozen of these flying in the world now. This aircraft, uh, it belonged to a gentleman that was actually a, a World War II pilot himself, and uh, he bought the airplane and got it prepared for the movie that they did in, uh, for Warner Brothers. Uh, but he flew the airplane up until the time he passed several years ago, and it belonged to the family, and we were able to forge an arrangement to keep our airplane, you know, while we restore our airplane, to bring this airplane flying. So the unique part of it is most people have never had the opportunity to get in this airplane to go fly, and that's how we support, support the airplane itself.